Welcome back to City Line. Uh, as I said in our prior segments, uh, this whole program is devoted to the uh, commissions and the uh, boards and the committees. Uh, there are 28 of them that make up our beautiful grit city here in Tacoma. And right now, for the next uh, 15 minutes, we'll be talking with the Tacoma Arts Commission. Um, so please join me in welcoming the effervescent, the one, the only, Amy McBride. Hi, love bug. Good morning. It's so good to see you. As I always say when I see you, darn it, I don't get to see you enough. <laughs> I think everybody says that to you. Uh, because you are in demand uh, and you are, if people do not know this, you are the Tacoma Arts Administrator and do such an outstanding job, you and your team. Um, just incredible, the art that we have in this city. So thank you so much. My privilege. Oh, and this beautiful woman next to you, uh, Rosie Al 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 Yala. there we go. You are a Tacoma Arts Commission member. Welcome, Miss Rosie. Thank you. Good to have you here. And this woman next to you, uh, Lynn Wilmot Stengem, you are also a Tacoma Arts Commission member. Thank you, uh, all three of you, for being here today and taking time out of your busy schedules because as we're going to find out, you two have other things you do during the day mm -hmm. uh, before you sit on the Art Commission once a month. So, Amy, uh, Tacoma Arts Commission, we were talking in the green room, uh, it's one of the it's one of the oldest commissions in Washington State, isn't it? Mm -hmm, yeah. How old is it? It was established in 1965. Wow. So it's even... Older than me, a little bit. I was two. I was two. I'm, I'm, I can I can say it. I was two years old at that point. So so, what is the Tacoma Arts Commission for somebody who perhaps is not aware of it? Well, the Arts Commission is itself is the body of fifteen volunteers, of of which uh, Rosie and Lynn are representing today, um, who are appointed by the City Council, and they advise the City Council on any matters related to the arts in our city, policy, funding, public art, and we can talk a little bit more about that later. But it's really uh, a group of folks that help set the foundation to allow creativity and, and artistic practice to thrive in our community. Oh, I can, and I can just I can just hear our viewers going, oh. I be on that committee uh, or at least that's maybe me <laughs> what are some of the projects and, and programs that the Tacoma Arts Commission works on that we might be familiar with um, well one of the important things that, that they do is is funding artists and arts organizations so that's more enabling the artists and arts organizations to do fantastic things yes. um, it's we also do a lot with public art in our city and then generate programs like Arts Month in October to really celebrate the arts. Um, we had uh, we experiment with things like an artist in residence program around issues of homelessness. Uh, we have a poet laureate. There's a call to the poet laureates out right now. So That's if you're right. a burgeoning poet or a practicing poet and you want to participate in that space, look for that. Um, and a variety of other training and capacity building, whatever we can do to kind of uh, insert our, our ways into the civic environment to make our community uh, whole and healthy. Yeah, and, and, and I want to add to that. You do such a beautiful job of uh, welcoming uh, artists at any level to participate and to express themselves here in the city, whether they're just getting started mm -hmm. or whether they're uh, someone who uh, has had their work shown at Tacoma Art Museum. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It's mm -hmm. just it, it's show up and create. And I love that because it gives us um, such a beautiful stage to look at different uh, journeys of our artists and inspire all of us, be it food, textiles, pottery, dance, spoken word, uh, painting, all mediums are welcome. Um, and we do such a great job of balancing those out here in our city. Rosie, um, tell us why were you interested in serving on the Tacoma Arts Commission and also how long have you served? Um, so this is my second year. I started last January. Um, my initial interest really came from the way that arts help people process mm. and deal with things. So my experience really comes from art as a therapy. Um, but I've been a lifelong advocate of the arts and I'm really happy to be on the commission in a way where I myself am not an artist, but I can 
represent and speak on how it's affecting those that are not artists. I love that. Well, I have to tell you that uh, Julia Cameron would uh, argue, well, she would disagree with that because she writes the book The Artist's Way. Mm -hmm. She would say we're all artists in some ways. What do you do during the day? Um, I am the Senior Director of Education Programs at Peace Community Center, which helps uh, elementary, middle, high school, and college students navigate what it means to be um, in a in their education realm and work with enrichment activities to help them grow in their academics. Wow. Okay. How lucky are you to have this? So on? lucky. Yeah. Man. Okay. Hello. Because what you do during your day mm -hmm. is directly reflected in terms of what you bring to that commission. Absolutely. That is outstanding. I love that. So, um, when you think about something that you are most proud of, and Miss Lynn, we're going to get to you down there, mm -hmm. um, to have worked on or has a, or, or something that maybe perhaps has affected your time in terms of service, what would it be? I think as we think of how we're responding to the community and our efforts and energies towards equity and ensuring that yes. all of Tacoma is has some art representation, um, when I learned that the office is really emphasizing this, I I became very excited, and I think that with funding projects, with um, any introduction of new artists, we ask that question, mm -hmm. um, and we're really trying to infuse this throughout the town. Yeah, one of my favorite projects that the Tacoma Art Commission has recently uh, been involved with was the homelessness project. Mm. That was incredibly powerful and relevant. Mm -hmm. We had uh, the uh, uh, author and the illustrator and the person who just burned with desire and started the program here on the couch. And I just, I just couldn't believe what was happening watching the videotapes. And I mm -hmm. felt it just was, it really united everybody. It was beautiful. Lynn, why were you interested in serving on Tacoma Arts Commission and how long have you served? This is my second term, I think my fourth, going into my fourth year. And when you say term, each term is it's for how long? Three, three years. Okay. Uh, and I was really compelled to get involved because I've been very fortunate. I danced professionally for over 20 years in oh. uh, North America and in Europe. And I've been able to create programs in Tacoma arts programs for, for people to get involved in. And I felt like I was in a place that I wanted to give back and help other artists. You know, as an artist, my whole life, I know that it can be challenging at times. And to be able to have the opportunity to support and uh, champion artists and arts organizations in the city that I live in with my family, it was really compelling for me. I. I have to tell you, I'm sitting here going, oh, I love what you just had to say. Because for younger artists, and I can see Amy shaking her head when I say this, <laughs> so many times it's approached with a competition, not collaboration. See? I told you she shook her head. Um, and, and with wisdom and age, we understand we're all connected. Mm -hmm. But we need mentors that help us understand that it's not competition. Mm -hmm. There is, we're all connected here. Um, and what can be more connecting than a dance troupe? Mm -hmm. uh, and you certainly have that with you. Um, let's, why are arts, Lynn, and culture, do you think, important to our community? Oh, in so many ways, I think. Uh, a couple of years ago, the Amer Americans for the Arts did an uh, economic impact study and Tacoma and the Arts Commission was a part of that process. And when the results came back, um, met through many, many cities all around the country, overwhelmingly the results were indicating that it brings economic vitality to yes. a city. I think that, and when I look at our young people and our students in, in their education, we know that when kids are involved in the arts in a significant way, they're much more likely to graduate from school, much more likely to give back to their communities, much more likely to not struggle with depression and to connect well with others, which is something I think we all want for, yes. our, for our communities. The arts brings a, a, a sense of place and belonging 
And I think lastly, last week I was reading that in England that British doctors may now be prescribing arts, uh, dance, visual arts, music to their patients. And in those pilot programs, the patients are indicating that they have had significant improvement both in mental and physical health through engagement through the arts. So I think there's a, uh, there's a lot more that I could talk about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it is, but, but, but for me, art, art solves pretty much everything in my life. <laughs> it does, it just kind of does. So we could do a whole hour on this arts commission and I would love to. Uh, unfortunately, we only have a few more minutes left. So Amy, let's talk about the funding programs. I think that people often want to know, where is this money coming from? You know, mm -hmm. they have that, oh, uh, especially when we're dealing with, you know, uh, states of emergency within mm -hmm. our city. Um, and then we turn around, there's this beautiful exhibit. We want to ask the question, where, how do we get funding? Mm -hmm. Well, we are pretty as scrappy and entrepreneurial as one can be within within government. We certainly have are supported through general fund dollars, so taxpayer dollars. Um, with public art, there's a set aside of one percent of capital projects that goes to creating public yes. art. And then um, through the years, as we develop our partnerships within the city with public works and neighborhood and community services, they see the benefit of of like the. Uh, mural program and um, this project you're seeing on on the screen here is part of a major streetscape improvement in the Lincoln District and that was an opportunity for us to hire an artist to not only do infrastructure improvements through, through art but to, we did a series of mini grants that that um, supported projects that came from community that helped to celebrate the neighborhood um, create activity during the time during construction um, bring bring neighborhoods together. Mm -hmm. So we try to hit it on as many many points as possible. So hiring the artists to do the work, connecting with community, spreading the wealth around, and, right. and really, um, I really think of what we do as community development. It's it just is. the arts is the is the lens through which and the Absolutely. tools through which we we work. So it's kind of magic. So and if you want to know more, uh, certainly we've been showing the website. And uh, keep your eyes on that website for when they have openings on the Tacoma Art Commission. Cause it's very competitive. It's very competitive. <laughs> Thank you, all three of you, for being here today and representing your committee in such a, a beautiful, uh, collaborative, um, expressive way. I expect nothing less, and you have raised the bar and met my expectations. <laughs> Thank you so much, all three of you. Thank you, Amanda. My pleasure. When we come back, our last segment is going to be on Tacoma Sister Cities Council. Wow, talk about international travel. This is it. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. <laughs>